Jamie Cage and I'm here on the sofa with Matt George, love it, that's the full name, Matt George, is, has played a very important part in the film A Friend in Need because Matt is the director. And then mm. now it's finished and you've seen... Yeah, well, just about. It's, it's kind of terrifying, really. Like, um, yeah, because we first started this project must be... I think I first heard about Friend in Need in maybe over a year ago. We're talking like, yeah, it's kind of September, November last year okay, when I first wow. came across it when Matt Carroll, the writer, first gave me the script and he was like, how do you feel about maybe producing something like this and, and trying to get it forward? And at the time, I wasn't necessarily the director. I was just somebody who was giving him advice on on what we might do with the film. Yeah. And yeah, that was a year ago and we've gone through, like we did some script rewrites, we had to cast the thing, we had to get the crew on board, locations, everything, wow. and then post-production, editing, and then, no. and now, and today I can say it's, it's, it's finished. It's finished. Just so, about. You know, I'm glad it's over. Mm. I reckon we watched The Wolf of Wall Street and thought it was a training video. And if you had to play a character in the film, who would you play? I mean, I shouldn't, because I'm not a very good actor. <laughs> if, if, if I could, I'd probably say Emma, I reckon. I reckon is the most, oh. the most unusual of the characters. All of them are quite, there's a lot of, it's testament to the writing, there's a lot of complexity about the characters just beneath the surface. There's yeah. a lot that's not really spoken about that is, is implicit. But I think of all of them, Emma, given she doesn't have the greatest screen time of the characters, there's just so much going on underneath the surface. There's yeah. so much history, there's so much thought process yeah 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 it's very analytical it's it's a very unusual character mm -hmm. so i'd probably if i could i'd probably play emma and um so ha you say you got um the script from the writer mm -hmm. you already knew each other yeah so we worked together on um, a couple of other projects um we worked together so initially he wrote a feature screenplay this is going back three four years now he wrote a feature screenplay which i was just script editor on i just kind of my background's in writing Okay, I'm cool. primarily a screenwriter, not a, a director, so that's kind of what I helped him out with initially. Then we worked on another project where, again, we wrote the script to it. That's still in development. And then this was the third thing we did, where um, wow. we kind of came together and were like, right, let's put this into production. Let's make it. Let's put it's something amazing. on a screen. Yeah. And now it's finally there. And now it's there, yeah. And they'll blame me, of course. <gasps> yeah, well, I blame Mike. And what has been the most fun part about this project? Most fun part, Oof, not the driving. That wasn't fun. <laughs> um, that was my next question. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll get we'll get to yeah, that. We'll get to that. Um, I think most fun part. It might honestly be the rehearsals, the very very early stuff we did right at the start. When so we have the script, we've got the cast, we've got the eight major cast members, and we're sitting in one room. And again, this is probably me being a writer as well as a director. The thing I found so exciting was looking into what we have with the script that the writer's given us and the notes that the writer's given us, and really delving into. The, the stuff between the lines, kind of discovering what was already there and like working out when the characters met, their backstories, how one character relates to another outside of the script mm -hmm. itself and spending weeks and weeks and weeks developing that was just so much fun. I've never done quite as intensive a rehearsal process before mm -hmm. and it was, it was great fun. I've seen it when a woman goes by with a kid, it tears him apart. You know, we can't even talk about you three in front of him. And if he sees this one, well... And, oh... Last question, the other way around. So oh, what was the last, worst bit? Yeah, what was the worst part? We've got this beautiful shot in, um, in the barbecue scene early on in the film. And yeah. a lot of the film, we've got um, steady cam. And we've got this beautiful sweeping shot. We see the whole garden, all the characters are interacting. We spent ages blocking it out. Yeah. It looked beautiful, uh, in my humble opinion. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, and on, the day, and on the day we were happy with it, oh, that's fantastic, brilliant, all the colours and everything. And then we get to post-production and we look at the rushes and... We've got this scene where you've got the two characters meet like this and then in the background there's a little gazebo and the little kids, the kid actors that we had, their granddad is sitting in the gazebo in the background and we're like, oh no! no. <laughs> In the end, we, uh, um, Simon did something very, very clever that I really don't understand with um, VFX and he managed to mask it out. So it's, oh, you can, if you're looking for it, you can just about see it, but it's basically gone now. 